Now every gamer knows you should use a high quality power supply with your gaming PC. It delivers better efficiency, it delivers more, a more quiet experience, and it also gives you peace of mind because your valuable components that you have hooked up to it are less likely to die in a fiery power supply explosion, which, yeah, okay, they don't actually explode that often, but what you can have in a catastrophic power supply failure is a power surge that fries other components in your system. It's less common these days, especially with high quality units like this particular one. But what a lot of users don't consider is what kind of power you're actually feeding into your power supply. So here we have what's called a UPS or an uninterruptible power supply. This one's from CyberPower and it is capable of a couple of things. So number one is that it is line interactive, which means that it is actually regulating and monitoring and cleaning the power that you are I can open the box. Uh, the power that you are actually feeding into the power supply that is then powering your computer. So it means there's less strain on your power supply, less chance of failure, and an overall more stable computing experience. People will say, whoa, whoa, whoa I live in the first world. My power is really good. <laughs> Not, no, 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 no. Even new buildings, even in the first world, even wherever you are, no matter what, you can have dirty AC power. So that means whether it's little spikes or little dips, uh, sometimes the dips are experienced as what's called a brownout, where uh, you'll see the lights dim a little bit. So yes, these problems do exist and they are important. A UPS also, oh, it's really heavy because it's full of lead batteries. Um, a UPS also will allow you to have time to save your work and shut down your computer correctly in the event of a power failure. So give me a second here guys and I'm just gonna go down what CyberPower has to say for themselves before I keep going any longer. So power protection for computers and workstations that use active power factor correction. So more on that in a moment. Green power UPS energy saving technology, power panel UPS management software. So that's the software you use to, well, manage the UPS. Multifunction LCD power status display. So we're gonna do a full NCIX Tech Tips episode on this one, so you'll see that on my NCIX comm channel. Automatic voltage regulation, 10 surge protected outlets, five with battery backup. So that is five surge protected, five battery backup. Phone coax line protection, three year warranty, and connected equipment guarantee. Now that's really cool because they will actually even guarantee that the equipment you have connected to it is not going to explode. So this guy right here is capable of sustaining up to 600 watts and there we go. That means that assuming you have a, a PC computer actually hooked up to it, we're going to test this with a high powered gaming PC. So I'm not even going to bother telling you guys how long it claims to run the connected computer for. We're actually going to test it with benchmarking software. So it will run your computer and give you a chance to either using the USB interface automatically shut down your PC properly in the event of a power failure or give you a chance if you're actually in the middle of using it to turn it off correctly. So that's good for your software, it's good for your hardware, it's good for a lot of things. So, so far the benefits are a couple. Okay, safely powering on and powering off your computer as well as the other thing that I said. Right, protecting your computer from dirty power. Now, here's the catch. Most UPSs that are not extremely expensive are not pure sine wave UPSs. So I don't know if you guys know anything about AC current, but it basically looks like this. It goes in what's called a sine wave and 120 volts is the difference between the dip and the peak. So that's your 120 volt power or if you're in the EU or somewhere else where you have 240 volt power, you just have a bigger, a bigger sine wave, okay? So a non-pure sine wave UPS because these are using batteries, okay? They're using batteries inside here to deliver AC power. Batteries do not natively deliver AC power, they deliver DC power, so they have to kind of fake it. So, um, less competitive, modern, you know, I don't know what to call them, but not as good UPSs will deliver current that looks like this, where it actually has a square sine wave pattern. Now this is fine as an approximation of a sine wave if you're gonna power a light bulb or if you're gonna power something that is not a sensitive piece of electronic equipment. In comes active power factor correction. Now I haven't actually looked for it on this power supply, but I guarantee you anything that is over 80 plus bronze is gonna have APFC pretty much. And I'm sorry it's not on here, but 
trust me, it, it, it does. It has active power factor correction. Almost any modern power supply that is a high quality power supply does. That allows it to achieve better efficiency. Active power factor correction will not accept an ugly square sine wave. So if you don't have a pure sine wave UPS and cyber power, in this case has some very, very low cost compared to, other act, uh, compared to other pure sine wave models. So if you don't have a pure sine wave UPS, what can happen is your computer can just shut down outright as soon as it gets that square pattern voltage input. Okay, so, okay, we'll look at the unit a little bit here in the unboxing, but the most important part of this video is, guys, subscribe to my NCIX COM channel, NCIX COM, because we're going to show you guys this one versus a non-pure sine wave unit to show you what happens in the event of a power failure with either of these battery backup solutions. So we'll have a look at the unit itself really quickly here. Most of this has been like theoretical stuff. So what do we got? We got your display button, we got your silence alarm button, your control button, LCD readout, you got your power button. All of this is fairly straightforward. On the top here we have some important notes about safety features and powering on and powering off and all that kind of good stuff. Here we've got some ventilation holes, okay. It's a lot more attractive than UPS's used to be. Risk of electric shock, refer to the bottom of the unit for cautionary markings. Cool, more cautionary markings. Neat. Uh, something to be aware of with UPS's is that eventually the batteries inside uh, will die and they can be replaced or you can get a new UPS or whatever, but I still definitely recommend using them. Uh, as it mentioned on the packaging, there's coax protection as well as uh, phone slash network protection. Interesting. Building wiring fault indicator serial and USB interfaces, as well as the, here we go, surge and battery plus surge outlets on the back and a way to reset the breaker. Nice beefy power cord, because if you're gonna be powering any reasonable amount of equipment off of it, you're gonna need that. So, as mentioned before, 600 watt unit, stay tuned for the NCIX Tech Tips, and thank you for checking out my CyberPower uh, Adaptive Sine Wave Uninterruptible Power Supply Unboxing, don't forget to subscribe for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.